Hey everyone, John from MSC Grandiosa. Well, it's been a day of ups and downs. I mean, uh, I've had a great time, uh, but there's been some a lot of speculation about what's happening. Unfortunately, you can't legislate for weather, and, uh, and, and the captain has made a decision currently that we will not be leaving Southampton until Friday. However, that could change if the weather changes. Um, at the moment, there are nine meter swells and 60 knot winds, uh, like hurricane strength in the Bay of Biscay. So uh, he's not willing to risk 6,000 passengers. Well, it's not quite that. It's only half full, but he's not willing to risk their lives. Um, and so, hey, you know, we didn't come on this cruise for the itinerary. We came on for the ship. So we're enjoying it. A couple of things that uh, that I um, that I think would be really good to know. One of the things that um, Alan and I discussed before coming on board was whether or not we should keep the easy package or upgrade to the premium package. Because we've always had uh, in the old days the, the packages. We always had just the normal package. But I have to say, after being on board for less than four hours. Alan made the decision to upgrade to the premium package. It's nine euros a day per person. Now there's a whole bunch of us from Genistar all sailing on the MSC Lyrica in September, organized by the awesome Emma Short from Cruise First. But there are about 600 of us and um, we've all got the easy package as part of our deal. Now guys, if you want house wine, which, by the way, it's perfectly fine. I'm quite happy with that. And a small selection of shorts like vodka, gin, uh, and Bell's whiskey. Then, uh, and of course, coffee and uh, you know, that kind of juice and stuff like that. Then the easy package will be fine for you. If, however, like my husband, you like brandy, then the easy package will not cut it for you. It's better to upgrade before you come on board so you can speak to your travel agent or, or just book it direct on MSC. Um, you can upgrade for nine euros a day, but if you do it on board, then you pay the additional tax. So it's worth upgrading. Um, like I say, Alan's a bit of an easy option, so he was like, No, we'll be all right, we'll just have the easy package, which for me actually is perfectly fine because I drink wine and vodka, so I'm okay. Um, but uh, but he very quickly discovered that it did not suit him, so we upgraded. So that was an easy process, uh, but anyway. So right now, um, update from this morning. I told you this morning what a bad experience I had in the tapas restaurant. Well, we went to the butcher's cut for lunch today. It was amazing. The steak was to die for. It was just wonderful. It melted in the mouth. I'm not a steak lover. Alan likes steak. But I'm not a steak lover, but it was just incredible. And the waiter in there is just wonderful. It's from Honduras. And, uh, and he just made us laugh so much. So the service was fantastic. The food was delicious. I did not have dessert, but it did look absolutely delicious. Um, but while we were there, the interesting thing is that we recognized the lady that we'd met on two previous occasions um, at the Butcher's Cup, in fact. And she was in charge of making sure that the new restaurant was set up. So we said hello, she came over and uh, uh, one of the executive chefs was with her, Vincenzo, and, um, and she, uh, she chatted a while and said, how was the food? And, and then he, he told us, well, she's in charge of all the restaurants on the ship. So I said, really, including the tapas? She said, yes. I said, I went there yesterday. She said, how was it? I said, dreadful. So I explained to her, they were horrified. And I said, look, I'm not complaining. I just feel like if you're in charge of it, you just need to know that it was really not good. And so I've been invited back free of charge tomorrow for lunch. And they they promised me that it's going to be um, a, a, a superb meal. 
So once again, just an example of how MSCs step up to the plate and if there's something wrong, they do fix it, I have to say. So wonderful. Today, 500 travel agents joined the ship. They had an award ceremony earlier, I didn't attend, um, and I have no idea which travel agent won, but um, there were 500 travel agents, and they are thoroughly enjoying themselves. It's an elegant light tonight, and uh, they're all dolled up and getting their pictures taken, eating and drinking with abandon, so it's going to be quite an interesting night tonight. Um, so yeah, the, now the challenge of course, if we are in port, until Friday the casino is closed and all the shops are closed because they, they're not allowed to be open in port so if anybody wants to shop they're going to go to Southampton um, so there are some challenges so anybody that's moaning and believe me there are some people moaning like how can you moan when the captain is trying to save your life um, but of course, you'll always get people moaning about, oh, they're not telling us far enough in advance. And, uh, you know, the captain's trying to do his best to make sure that the decision that he makes at the time is the right decision. So, um, you know, if he decides that the weather has blown itself out and we can sail, great. We are arriving a day late in Barcelona. The televisions have all got information on. We have to report to an area on the ship tomorrow between 2 and 7 to find out some contingencies for for us. We don't have a flight booked with MSC. Ours is booked privately, so we will have to do that ourselves. It's not a big deal. Barcelona cheap is not on our leg to fly. And also we have travel insurance, so I'm sure we can sort that out. But um, MSC are usually really good when they have to do something like this. So it'll be interesting. You know, uh, we were in the lift with some travel agents and um, they said, oh, are you cruising? Oh, you no, know, proper. And we said, yes. And they said, um, so, you know, you're going to be in Port and Southampton for like four days. And I said, you know what? It matters not, you know. We're still on an incredible ship. We've got incredible service. We've got incredible food, incredible drinks, incredible company. And so why are we bothered? It doesn't matter to me if we're sailing or not. The difference is that while we're in Southampton, I've got Wi-Fi. Whereas when we sail, I'm going to have to buy a package to, to do my lives. So, you know, people can be so petty about some, about some things. And, uh, you know, I know it's a worry for some people and I know that, you know, they can't be late back to work and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? It happened. Do you remember the, when people went on holiday and they had the ash everywhere and they couldn't fly out? Or if they're stranded in some country and the airlines go on strike, they're stranded. And that's, you know, but at least here, you're not lying on a, a bench in the airport, freezing your butt off and trying, spending fortunes on airport food. You're on an incredible vehicle, which is like a luxury floating hotel. So really not anything to be concerned about. We're not bothered. We're going to arrive late. We'll just change our flight. We'll go down and see what MSC have to say about it tomorrow. But you know, it is what it is. And you make it as, as good as you can make it. We move into a new cabin in the morning. But again, they make it easy. They took, you know, I remember doing this, we had to do this back to back with Royal Caribbean. We had to literally get off ship, meet, get our new card, get back on ship. With MSC, no, we just leave our luggage in our cabin, we go down to reception, get our new card, and when we go back up to our new cabin, the luggage will be moved up there. So that's all taken care of. So I've got no complaints whatsoever. Looking forward to seeing what the lunch is like in the tapas tomorrow. We're going to skip the first course and just go straight to the, the uh, burger. Um, and, uh, and so I'm looking forward to seeing if they can produce a decent burger. Um, and, uh, but definitely Butcher's Cut always gets it for me. Even though I'm not a, a steak lover, Alan is. And, uh, and so uh, I had filet mignon. mignon which was absolutely melting your mouth gorgeous. Ed half hips, so good. He gave the rest to Alan, which he demolished after his solo. So uh, we'll probably go back there again later in the week 
and, um, uh, and I'll probably go for something different rather than stay. So, yeah, always worth a visit. There's some nice places on board, the bars are great. Of course, now the casino bars closed for, um, well, till we leave Southampton. Uh, but we've been hanging out at the Champagne Bar. They're really good in there, even though they really are so champagne. They, they've got vodka in there, which is great for me. And they managed to acquire a bottle of brandy for Alan. So we've been hanging out there with the guys, from, with Tim and Andy from the UK, MSC UK and our right passengers group, which has been, uh, it's been a blast to meet those guys. Uh, and uh, we're so sad to see some of them get off tomorrow, which is going to be, it's going to be sad to see them go, but, uh, but we're still going to be on. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. Um, if I think of any other tips, but just remember, upgrade from an easy package to a premium. It's worth the $9 a day, 9 euros a day if you want something other than the very basic. You can go to the MSC website and check what is available on the easy package. There's only one beer for example, Heineken, I think. So decide if it's for you, but don't wait till you're on board because you're gonna have to pay tax on it if you don't. One of the things on board here is we've come across loads of people that we've known from other ships. We bumped into Laura, the MSC lady who came to the Genesis Art Convention in July. Bumped into her a few times today. She came up with little travel agents, which was lovely. Um, really sad that um, that Emma Victoria, whichever name you know her by, um, she's uh, from Cruise First, wasn't able to come on because her pub had a passport, but. Uh, and I was looking forward to chilling out with her. So, Ebs, I'm missing you, girl. I really was looking forward to seeing you, but I understand you. You're being swamped with all the tennis star business coming your way. So, um, yeah, guys, grandiosa, so far, big tick. And uh, so I said good, bad, the ugly. Even the ugly is turning good so far. So catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share. Bye.